Welcome to the Royal Marsden Private Patients Medical Day Unit video. This department is also called PPMDU for short. Starting cancer treatment can be a challenging time and not knowing what to expect can make the experience more daunting. With this video we aim to provide an overview of the treatment pathways on PPMDU. In Sutton we have 10 treatment chairs and a designated phlebotomy room. Here we administer systemic anti-cancer therapies. We refer to this as SAC treatment and it can either be in a form of an injection, oral medication or a drip that goes into the vein. PPMDU is located on the first floor of the West Wing. There is a lift or stairs up to our unit. On arrival to PPMDU, you will be greeted by a member of our front of house team. At the point of check-in, we kindly request that you confirm the details of your next treatment appointments. If you need to make changes to these, please discuss this with our front of house team. We offer two types of appointments, known as one-stop and two-stop. One-stop treatments involve having a blood test, clinical review and administration of treatment later the same day. Two-stop treatment involves having a blood test and clinical review on one day and return to PPMDU on a different day to receive treatment. Whilst waiting for your appointments, please make yourself comfortable in our reception area. A member of the team will call you at the time scheduled for your blood test appointment. First, we measure your height and weight. We will also measure your vital signs, including your blood pressure and temperature. Before each treatment, we need to test your blood. If you have a central venous access device, such as a portacath or PIC line, we will use this to collect your blood samples. If you do not have a central venous access device, we will insert a small plastic tube into your vein called a cannula. We will use this to collect your blood samples and to administer your treatment later on. If your treatment does not require a drug to be administered into your vein, you will have the blood samples taken directly from a vein in your arm. Your blood samples will be individually labelled using your unique code before being sent to our laboratories. There are usually two parts to your blood test, a full blood count which looks at the red and white blood cells and platelet count, and a biochemistry test which looks at how well organs such as the liver and kidneys are working. Once received in our laboratories, your blood samples are run through automated analyzers and scientists review and validate the results. While we wait for the results of your blood tests, you will be reviewed by a healthcare professional which may be a doctor or an advanced nurse practitioner. You'll be assessed to see if you are well enough to receive your planned treatment. On your first visit, a healthcare professional will go through the details of your treatment regime and plan. If you are happy to proceed with the treatment, you will be asked to sign a consent form. You may have already completed this at your outpatient appointment. At the end of your clinical review, your healthcare professional will inform you of when you can leave the hospital and confirm your treatment appointment time. Alternatively, if you have treatment as a one-stop attender, you may prefer to wait in the waiting area. Here at Sutton, we are lucky enough to have a Maggie Centre and some patients choose to utilise this between appointment times. Once your blood results have been reported, if they are satisfactory, your healthcare professional and PPMDU pharmacist will confirm your treatment. After confirmation, your treatment will be prepared by a specialist branch of the pharmacy department the aseptic unit. All prepared SAC treatment is stored under controlled conditions to ensure that it is suitable for use at the treatment appointment time. In order to reduce waiting times where possible, some drugs are prepared in advance of your appointment. Other drugs must be prepared on the same day you receive your treatment because of their short expiry. If you are expecting to have an injection, a nurse will take you through to a private area to administer your treatment. If you are expecting oral medication, you will be informed where to collect the tablets. If you are having treatment into your vein, the nurse will call you and escort you to your treatment chair at your treatment appointment time. You are welcome to bring in your personal entertainment, however we kindly request that you keep any electronic devices on silent mode. If you are required to take a phone call, please find a quiet place away from the treatment area. If you would like to have lunch whilst having treatment, we have a menu we can offer. If you have any food allergies or special dietary requirements, please inform us so that we can cater to your needs. Alternatively, food is available in the Cherry Tree restaurant. Your nurse will complete a treatment toxicity assessment by asking about symptoms since your last treatment. 
After this, the nurse will explain the treatment schedule for the day, what drugs will be administered and how long your treatment will take. This can include pre-medications, which are prescribed to help manage potential side effects. You will have the opportunity to discuss any concerns or questions regarding side effects with your treatment nurse. If you need to move from the chair during your treatment, you can do so by unplugging the infusion pump and walking with your drip stand. The pump will continue to infuse normally as it will run on battery. The nurses will perform regular checks during the infusion of your treatment. A member of the pharmacy team will counsel you on any home medication that forms part of your treatment protocol. This usually happens on the first day of each cycle, but this may not be applicable to all patients. Please check that you have this before leaving. If you have any questions regarding your medication, please speak to your treatment nurse who can liaise with the pharmacy team on your behalf. At the end of treatment, your nurse will disconnect your treatment and remove your cannula or portacath needle. Some patients need to go home with chemotherapy in a portable pump device. You will be aware of this from your pre-treatment consultation. If this applies to you, please ensure that you confirm your appointment time for disconnection. Alternatively, you may decide that you would like to self-disconnect your treatment at home. Please discuss this with your treatment nurse to organise this service. Some SAC treatments require you to receive supportive medications in the form of an injection to help improve your immune system. If this is part of your treatment regime, you will be provided with equipment and teaching on how to self-administer this injection. You may have additional medication that you need. This will be ready at the end of your treatment for you to collect at the hospital pharmacy. When attending PPMDU for treatment, please wear comfortable clothing that provides easy access to your chest, arms and legs. Please be aware of the importance of arriving on time. If this is not possible, please contact us as soon as you can so we can review and discuss your appointments. Your treatment chair appointment time is allocated in advance by our scheduling team. Chairs are allocated based on the length of time per treatment, which is different for each patient. For this reason, we are unable to change treatment chairs on the day. If you have preferences, you may wish to discuss this with our scheduling team when discussing your appointment times. After completion of treatment, we ask all patients to be vigilant for potential side effects. If you experience any side effects or feel unwell, you should call the Royal Marsden Macmillan hotline on the number below. This service is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thank you for watching this video. The PPMDU team look forward to welcoming you to our unit on your next visit.